find out about these things that you do not know before you just sit there and go, oh, no, that can't possibly exist. Because I'm going to tell you something. Maybe what we say is absolutely crazy and ridiculous, in which case all we are is a bunch of blathering idiots on the radio. But you might stop and consider that if what we're saying has a grain of truth to it, then you, your families, your loved ones, your friends, everybody that you have any care for in the world, all of a sudden may very well be in grave danger. And they rely on you to become educated and to learn. I say to people who, who tell me, you're crazy and you're out of my mind, out of, out of your mind, I just say, prove it. Put some facts behind your assertion. Don't just sit there and throw empty threats at us. Bob's been doing this stuff for 50 years. I've been doing it for a fraction of that time. I started around Waco or so, but I really didn't get that active in it until later. I thought this stuff was crazy myself. Up until about a year and a half ago, if I'd listened to Bob Chapman, I would have thought he was out of the, you know, he was out in the, out in the, out in the jungle somewhere. But the truth of the matter is that when you start looking into these things, all of a sudden, you discover that it might very well be possible. You know, you can't explain why the economy is the way it is, why we're having the problems we're having in this country socially, why we're having the problems that we're having politically. When you sit there and you say, oh, it's all a random, all a random theory or all a random set of circumstances, but what's interesting is, try on for a moment. I invite people to try on the possibility that there is this conspiracy of people, as Bob has mentioned. Try it on like a suit of clothes. You know, when you go walking into the clothing store, there's that nice set of clothes on the rack, and you try it on. Try on the possibility that what Bob says is true, and take a look out at the world. You know what? If you take a look out at the world with that suit on, you decide it doesn't fit you, take it off. Put it back on the rack. It doesn't hurt you. But you owe it to yourselves to at least try to educate yourself. Because if you're sitting there saying, we're out of our minds, guess what? You don't know. Because what you're hearing and what you're saying and what you're getting from the mainstream media, they're not going to tell you about these things. They're not going to tell you about chemtrails flying over your head, funny-looking contrails and all kinds of strange angles and, and lines through the sky that are dropping heavy metals and things on you to weaken your immune systems. There are people in this global cabal that think that the way to uh, make it possible for them to live happily ever after on this world is to take a planet with six billion people and reduce the population to one billion. You don't think that they're trying to do this? How many epidemics, plagues, natural disasters, Darfur's, how many other places can I think of have we not heard about on the news? It's been said that in this century, and Bob, you can correct me on the numbers, but it's said in this century that, what is it, about, uh, what is it, 50 or 60, about 50 million people, I guess, had been killed in wars. But during that same time period, over 100 million people have been killed by their own governments. This is an ugly reality, folks, that you and I live in. But you do yourself and your children a disservice by dismissing it so out of hat because it's hard to hear. Life didn't give us promises that everything would be easy to stomach and easy to take. There are hard things in life, and there are evil people. There are organized efforts to deceive you. There are organized efforts to teach your children not enough to become bright-thinking people who can challenge a government. Why do you think the public education system in our country today has the problems it does. Maybe it's because the government and the people in charge of it don't want your children to grow up to be smart, thinking, reasoning people. What about that? Is it possible? It's a good, you know, it's a good explanation.
education. It sure answers the question, well, why are our school systems doing such a lousy job? We keep throwing money at them and it doesn't get better. Maybe there's another reason. Am I out of my mind? Maybe. But before you make that decision for sure, you better do a little of your own research and you better do a little of your own thinking. Bob, anything to add? No, that was terrific. Absolutely terrific. You know, I get to the you know, I get to the point. I have two kids that I try to bring up, and if it weren't for them I'd retire and go off to some island somewhere, but that's not me. This is America. I love this country. I hate what our leaders have done to to it. You know, we're hated we're supposedly hated around the world. We're not hated around the world by anybody because of things that you and I did. We're just citizens. If we're guilty of anything, we're guilty of not keeping our vigilance up to keep our leaders in line and to hold them accountable when they step out of line. Whatever imperialistic issues we've had in this country where we've gone into other parts of the world and imposed our will and our intentions, whether it's covert coups in, the, in Central America or whether it's downright overthrows of, of uh, Middle Eastern countries and depositions of uh, despots and, and, you know, creating false stories about Al-Qaeda and the rest of it. You and I didn't do this. You people who are listening out there are good American solid people, and you bend over backwards to help people in need less fortunate than you are. But our leaders in government don't follow that same, that, that same set of morals. And that's why this country has the difficulties in perception that it does around the world. It's not you and me. We didn't do it. But what we need to do is we need to wake up and make sure that our leaders don't do it anymore. And when they do, we hunt them down and hold them to account. And that's why your participation in listening to this show is so important. That's why we need you. Your children need you. Your country needs you. And Bob's absolutely right. It's coming to crunch time, kids. It's the bottom of the ninth. Get involved in your precincts. Get involved in your political world. I know that's foreign to most of us. Politics is something that most people in this country view as conversation they don't want to talk about. It's not considered polite in social circles. Oh, let's talk about the sports in this last weekend. Let's talk about who's going to win next American Idol. Hell, let's talk about what's going on with Tiger Woods. You know what? In the end, none of that stuff's going to make any difference. What's going to make a difference is a year from now, if we don't have new leadership elected to Congress, life's going to change. And if you take a look around and you see the dominoes that are being lined up around the world financially, don't you believe for an instant that this country is immune to all that? We are the target. We are in the gun sights. They're loading the weapons against us with the situation in Greece, Italy. Spain, Portugal, Ireland. You saw it in Dubai. You saw it in Iceland. Look at what happened to the people in Iceland when they did this stuff. And now you've got China over, over on the other side of the world coming at us from the same direction. Bob, anything to add? No, no. I, um, I should let you I think talk. you You're capsulized <laughs> that... Uh, what I had said earlier, and um, and enunciated the uh, fact that we have to work at it, and uh, the the failing of people now is one of inquiry. Why is this happening? Are these people here in Texas broadcasting? Are they telling us the truth? To is it really that way? It, it may be. And, and why do they think it may be? Because they know something is wrong. And 
they want to find answers, and they will. It's a matter of education. It's a matter of bringing people to a deep thinking mode outside the box, forgetting about the propaganda and misdirection of the Glenn Becks of this world, along with several others. And I think it's very interesting. Fox calls me and asks me to go on because they found out my ratings were higher than the people they're paying $20 million a year to. And they're not too happy about that. And, and by uh, the way, it's, it's the truth that gets the ratings. You just happen to be the messenger. And that's not to take anything in the world away from you. But, it, you know, people hunger for the, you know, for what's so. They're trying to sort through the through the garbage they're getting. They know it's garbage. 